Once upon a time, there was a man who was very, very wealthy. All he desired and cared about was to accumulate wealth, to gather possessions, and to be a rich, rich man. It occurred to him one day that when he was to die, that he would lose all these possessions, and this disturbed him greatly. He thought. I do not wish to lose all my possessions. I wish to be a wealthy, rich man forever. So one day the man decided to go out into the world and search for a land where there was no death. He thought that if he could live in such a land, then he would not ever have to give up all his possessions, his wealth, and his riches. He said goodbye to his family, his possessions, and his home, and set out. Whenever he came to a new land, he would ask the people who lived there, "Do people die here? Is there death in this land?" If the people replied yes, then he would keep moving. One day he came upon a land where he asked the question, "Is there death here? Do people die?" And the people responded, "We do not even know the word death." And the man thought, "Well, if there is no death here." Aren't there a great number of people? I do not see a great number of people. Is there not death here? And the people replied, "There is no death. The reason we do not have a great number of people is because, from time to time, there is a voice, and whoever hears this voice, they get up and leave and go away and never come back." The man thought this was very strange, and he asked. Does everyone hear this voice? And the people replied, "No, only those who get up and leave have heard it. Those who do not hear it stay, and those who do hear it, they get up and leave and never come back." So the man thought to himself, "Well, if I were to live in this land, and when I hear the voice, if I do not listen to it and I do not get up and leave, then I can stay here forever and be a rich, wealthy man." For all of my life, and never die. So the man went back to his home, back to his family, and back to his possessions. He gathered everything up, gathered up his family and all his wealth, and moved to this land where there was no death. After he had set everything up in order, setting up all his possessions, putting order to his wealth, organizing his family in this new land, he said to his family. If you ever hear a voice calling to you, telling you to get up and leave, you must ignore it. You must not listen to it. You must stay and live in this land with me forever, and we will be rich and never lose our possessions. Many years passed, and no one in the family heard the voice—not the man, not his wife, not his family. One day, however, while sitting at the dinner table eating a meal. The wife suddenly stood up and she called out, "I am coming! I am coming!" And she began to go towards the door. The man immediately ran before her, stopped her, and grabbed her and said, "No! Do not be a fool! Do not listen to the voice! You will go away and never come back. Stay, stay here with me." The man had all his servants go to all the doors and the windows, bolting and locking them, so that his wife could not escape. Seeing what her husband had done, the wife finally fell back and sat in her chair. The man thought his wife had finally come to her senses and would not listen to the voice, so he sat back down at the table happy. However, as soon as the wife saw him do this, she immediately rushed up, unbolted one of the doors, and ran out. The man ran after her. He grabbed her coat. However, her arms slipped out of it, and she continued running. And she was never seen again. So the man's resolve was even greater than before. He thought, "If I ever hear this voice, I will not listen to it. I will not get up and leave. I will stay here with my wealth, and I will be rich forever." Again, many years passed, and the man was sitting in the barber's. His face was lathered with soap, and the barber had a razor at his chin, shaving his beard. Suddenly, the man cried out. No, I am not coming. I will not listen to you. The barber looked astonished. All the people in the barbers looked astonished. The man continued, "No, I will not listen to your voice. I will not leave this place. I will stay." 
Again and again the man shouted, No, no, I will not listen, I will not leave. The man became so agitated, he took the razor from the barber's hand and said, I will not leave, I will stay here, voice. I will give you a thrashing, and then you will see, I will stay here forever with my possessions and my wealth. The man rushed out of the barber's store, waving the razor in the air, saying, I will not leave with you, voice, I will silence you forever. The barber did not want to lose his razor, and he too followed the man, chasing after him. Out of the town they ran, the man with the razor in his arm, waving it wildly, the barber chasing after him. Finally they came upon a great hole in the earth, a great chasm and precipice in the land. The man waved the razor in the air and flung himself into the chasm. The barber saw what happened and stopped short. He did not wish to fall into the hole in the ground. The barber turned around and went back to the village. He told the people what had happened. He told them that he saw the man with the razor fall into the ground. When the man led all the townspeople out to where the hole in the ground had been, it was not there any longer. There was no hole, no chasm, no precipice in the ground. The people turned and went back to the town. Since that day, no longer did the voice call out. No longer did people hear the voice and cry out, I am coming, I am coming, leaving their lives and falling into the hole in the ground. Instead, from that day, there was death in the land, and people died, just as do all mortals across the world.